Welcome to the campus of the University of Guelph, home to the Ontario Veterinary College, one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the nation. For over 100 years, students have gathered here to study the latest in animal sciences, to expand their minds, and to put their hand up a cow's bum. <laughs> And now I'm joined by Alison Poole. Hi, Alison. Hi. You're the president. Yes, I am. What are you the president of? I am president of College Royal. We're mm -hmm. North America's largest student-run open house, and we attract 30,000 visitors annually. Yeah, that's why there's people everywhere. That's why there's and so many people. And what are they people. looking at? They are looking at our old McDonald's new farm. Look. Our piglets. Look at the piglets. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Little bastard bit me. Hi there. You said they didn't have teeth. Well, they're growing teeth. So you were lying I there. was lying, Because yes. they do. Oh, what are these? These are llamas and alpacas. Alpacas? Yeah, they're the cute animal with the name that sounds like a terrorist organization. That, that's, this is a boar. It's a male pig. Right. Watch out for the tusks. Yes. I would suggest petting his back. OK. It's like approaching Myron Thompson. This is insane. He's grunting at me. It's not much different than a scrum on Parliament Hill, quite frankly. This, this is, is Whistler. So we use her to educate the public so they realize that if you do find Oh, oh, oh. Just keep your hand up. Just keep your hand up. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Right to the eye. I can't have that. And a uh, seal pump. Huh. Huh. I've been doing it for nine I can't stop myself. And now I'm standing here in the dairy barn of the University of Guelph, and I'm here with Dr. Jim Atkinson. Hi, Dr. Jim. Pleased to meet you, Rick. How are you? I'm fine. Tell the people what you have here. Snowflake is the cow. Snowflake is the cow. And Snowflake has? She has a rumen fistula, which is a hole into her major stomach. Okay, so now I'm actually in the pen with Dr. Jim and the cow with the window in its side. Now I'm going to open this, okay? Oh. So this is just a rubber plug, and we push that in. Oh. <laughs> and then we pull it out, and that's part of breakfast right there. Then I can put my hand in there, and I can take oh, out. That's out of its stomach. That's out of its stomach. That's breakfast. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I have and the internet. Oh, yes. <laughs> OK, now I'm in the sheep pen, and I'm joined by Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Rick. What do you do with the hooks? Well, these are the crooks that we use to catch the sheep. So people really use these we right really out of do. the storybook. Yeah. Right, really little do. Bo Peep. You got Look it. Look at that. I'm little Bo Peep. <laughs> Lifetime dream. Ah. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> this is insane. Ow! I hit. I hit him on the head. <laughs> This is pretty macho, isn't it? <laughs> and Dr. Slackhammer, who do we have here? Um, this is a cow that's due to calve in about the next month. Mm -hmm. uh, I presume, anyways. We're here to check that and make sure that's going to happen. OK. <laughs> I know where these come from. Amsterdam. <laughs> My new friend. Do you know that you couldn't say the word pregnant on television in the early 70s? I didn't know that. So you can imagine how far we've come from saying the word pregnant to doing what we're about to do. You might want to send the kids out of the room. <laughs> okay, and this is? This is lube. This is the lube. This is the lube. Uh, no name lube. Uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, there, there is a label, but it fell off. It fell off. Mm. I only ask because, tragically, some of my viewers may be interested <laughs> in knowing what the brand is. Do you want to hold this? The guys at the CBC hate that. <laughs> lube on the microphone. When you return the microphone covered in lube. <laughs> you know, Rex Murphy's constantly doing that. <laughs> Kind of down about here on the cow. Yeah? That's that's where your hand will be, and you'll feel um, probably the head of that calf. The head? Yeah, it feels like bone. I lube up. That's right. That should be plenty. Uh, no, you know what? There's no such thing. <laughs> no such thing is too much. Can't be any worse than being on Paramount Hill. OK, let's. I'll stand beside it. But... OK. Like that? Yeah. I'm sticking in the right, <laughs> in yeah, the, in yeah. the right place? That's the okay. right spot. <laughs> I don't need directions, right? It just goes to where it's going. Well, you just keep, yeah, you'll be probably past your elbow and then, and then you just feel down. And you can kind of sweep your hand back and forth a little bit. There this is like the worst puppet show ever. <laughs> oh, that's the cow's head? Yeah, that's the calf's head. That's the calf's head? Yeah. And now what? So it's definitely, she, you're definitely pregnant. That's right. Congratulations, it's a cow. <laughs> 
Another day at the office. <laughs> exactly. I'm the vet. You're right on. Good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. I'd shake your hand. But... <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! You're watching Mercury.